we are at the famous Westgate Prison, one of the oldest and surest in the kingdom. I've heard that it is soon going to be demolished. Don't you find it strange that it still houses criminals as dangerous as Hans Schielman? There's nothing strange about it, Watson. The name of this prison is linked with numerous failed escape attempts. As long as it stands, the criminals will fear it. Good morning, gentlemen. Are you expected? No, but we wish to meet with one of your prisoners, Hans Schielman. I'm afraid that at the moment that is impossible. Access to the cells is controlled strictly. You can't go there without permission from the director. Then would you be so good as to announce us? I am Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. Watson. The famous Holmes and Watson. What an honour. My name is Brighton. Frank Brighton. I'm afraid that I can't announce you. I'm not allowed to leave my post under any circumstances. But I'm sure that the director won't refuse to see you, even without an appointment. Do you see the corridor behind the reception? Follow it to the secretary's office. You'll find him there. Thank you, Warden Brighton. One last thing. Hans Schielman received any visits lately? None. And I'm sure because I've dealt with receiving visitors for several weeks now. I volunteered because it's a calm post to be in. We don't get many visitors and it gives me time to write. Just like you, Dr. Watson. I enjoy literature and the... Very good. Thank you. That was very impolite, Holmes. That man admires our work. You could have given him... Another time. Let's go and meet the director of the prison. Let us go to the secretary's office. <clears throat> Good morning, miss. Oh, uh, excuse me, I dropped off. Good morning, gentlemen. What can I do for you? I am Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. Watson. We would like to talk to the director. I'll just go and see if he can receive you. Tiredness, pale face, stiffness. I believe that the young lady is expecting a happy event. It would seem so. This charming secretary is Miss Jenny Patterson. This small rack is for urgent letters to be given immediately to the director. The director's office, Mr. P. Patterson. No need to go in there. Strange. The director and the secretary have the same name. I'm delighted to meet you, Mr. Holmes. I am Paul Patterson, director of this establishment. You wish to talk to me? I hope this unexpected visit isn't to announce bad news. No, do not worry. We are investigating an affair of the highest importance, one which could potentially affect the security of the kingdom. Therefore, it is imperative that we interview one of your prisoners, Hans Schielman. Hans the Rat Killer? He's been in here for a long while now, and he's had no contact with the outside. How could he be involved in such an affair? That is what we would like to find out. And you have been commissioned by Scotland Yard? Evidently. Very well. I have complete confidence in you, Mr. Holmes. I will draw up a pass that you should give to Warden James in the guardroom. He will show you to the cells. Thank you, Director. Keep me informed of your progress. And if there is anything else, don't hesitate to let me know. We shall certainly do so. Miss Patterson. You have the same name as the director. Are you related? Come, Watson. Anyone who might have made the slightest study of anthropology would have noted the similarities between the young lady and her father. Mr. Holmes is right. I am his daughter. But he doesn't like to talk about it. I think he's afraid of being accused of favoritism. 
I'm sure it was your qualities alone which secured you this position, miss. If you must try out your powers of seduction, then what do you say about using them on the rat killer? Oh, goodbye, miss. Goodbye, gentlemen. Hot tea! Ah, you've got a pass for the high security area. It's the door at the end. Go ahead. This information board is almost empty. Strange, in view of the activity in the prison. It is about the signing in book. It is potassium nitrate, isn't it? Yes. So, Peter or whatever. My name is Peter James, Chief Warden, and this is Deputy Warden O'Sullivan. I imagine I will find Hans Schielman behind these bars in the basement. Yes, the high security cells are down there. Is this the only access? Yes, there was a second door at the end of the main hall, but it's been blocked up as a security measure. Thank you, Chief Warden. At your service. If you require further information, Warden Mackenzie will help you. He's at his post in the basement. Mr. Holmes, I am a huge admirer of yours. I have followed all your cases and successes with the greatest interest. What enthusiasm. Have you ever thought of a career in the police force? Have I thought about it? It's my dream. And I'm going to try my chance once this establishment closes down. I'm studying hard for the examination to get into police school. Tell me about the prisoners, Warden James. We only have a few. As you might be aware, the days of this place are numbered. Therefore, we no longer receive new prisoners. Those who are already here are among the most dangerous in London. We have three at the moment. Hans the Rat Killer and the Flint Brothers. The Flint Brothers? Yes, two rather simple-minded maniacs who detest one another despite their relation. They massacred their parents and decapitated their neighbours. It took more than nine policemen to overpower them. There isn't any information on the notice board. Should there be notes about duties? Yes, there should be, but... Miss Patterson hasn't put up the guard's assignments for this week yet. It's not like her. Usually, she does it first thing in the morning. Without these instructions, the guard in the basement won't be changed. I would go and get them, but I don't want the director to catch me there. He's very strict. Doesn't like us wandering around when we're on duty. And it will get his daughter in trouble. He's not being very pleasant with her at the moment. And I don't want to make things worse. How does not having the information about guard duty stop you from ensuring the watch in the basement? Because of the system of opening the doors, Mr. Holmes. As you can see, they are equipped with a mechanical timer which answers to a code. When the timer stops, that is to say at the end of each watch, the doors block automatically and the code is reset. It is therefore impossible to open the doors without the new code. And who has the code? Only the guard who takes the new watch. He's the only one who can open the envelope that it's kept in. He learns it by heart and destroys the message. Very clever, but let's look at the limits of this procedure. One false note and the system falls apart. See you later, Mr. Holmes. It is the guard's guest book, perhaps for distinguished guests. These weapons are obviously ready to use in case of emergency. The guards must spend long hours here. 
This device must be the alarm. Here's the famous high security area. Warden Mackenzie, at your service, sir. Good morning, Warden. I have a pass which allows me to speak with prisoner Hans. Very well. It is the cell at the end to your left. I'd advise you to walk in the middle of the corridor. Hans Schielmann, I require some information from you. So, who do we have here? The celebrated Sherlock Holmes himself. Do you know that for all the time I have spent rotting in here, you are my first and only visitor? I think this is cause for celebration. A confrontation between two geniuses, two extraordinary minds. I am afraid that you are not quite as great a chemist as you believe you are, Mr. Shieldman. I will not say that you never were. No, it was certainly true once. But you see, while you are whiling away your days in here, it appears that someone on the outside is at the point of surpassing you, if that is not already the case. Yes, I heard about that. A chemical poison that eats away at the flesh and provokes hysteria. I recognize talent when I see it, but it's only a matter of time before I win back my laurels, believe me. What can you tell me? That depends on what you can bring to me. What do you want? <laughs> Do you know why I am treated so harshly? For my meals, I am given nothing but a hunk of bread. And even then, not just any sort. The... Get to the point. Never interrupt me! <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yes, the bread. Did you know that with a little rye yeast, a pinch of moss, certain cockroach secretions, just enough light and damp with a few other ingredients that I will keep quiet about, I succeeded in poisoning half the staff here. <laughs> Unfortunately, a little something was omitted, which would have made the results fatal. Instead, it merely caused acute attacks of stress and powerful hallucinations. Even so, I got a great laugh out of watching them cry like babies when they saw their most primitive fears materializing before them. <laughs> you are a monster, Mr. Shieldman. Thank you. It wasn't a compliment. But of course it was! You others, you ordinary, narrow-minded people. You are afraid of anything that you cannot comprehend. You call me a monster, because what you find impossible to face is just the slightest fraction of my genius. If by monster you mean someone who is nothing like you, <laughs> then it is a compliment. What do you need? Very little. Just something to write with. You see my brain races like an engine with too many thoughts. I see them crackle and explode into thousands of formulae right in front of me. What a torture not to be able to write them down. What a hell to see them vanish just as quickly as they appear to me. Just bring me something that I can write with. That's all. That seems an easy enough request to fulfill. But listen, I don't want a vulgar inkwell and a pigeon's feather. No, I need material fit for my talent. I want my ink pen. Bring it to me, and I will be happy to pass on to you a little of my knowledge of modern chemistry. Where is it? 
It was confiscated upon my arrival here. I suppose it might be in my locker, in the locker room. Leave me now, and don't come back without my ink pen. See you soon, Mr. Holmes. Can you tell me where I might find the locker room? In the corridor that leads to the director's office. That's where the prisoner's civilian stuff is held. But seeing the length of their sentences, they've little chance of ever getting it back. Can you open the locker room for us? We would like to inspect Shieldman's personal items. No, Mr. Holmes. I'm not responsible for that. You will find the keys in the secretary's office. See you later, Mr. Holmes. Staff cloakroom. The locker room. This is where the prisoner's things are kept. Miss, may we borrow the keys to the locker room? You will need authorization from the director to open that door. If you wait a moment, then I will inform him. We will wait, thank you. Anything new, Mr. Holmes? Is your investigation advancing? Mr. Holmes, have you been able to get what you wanted from our lodger? Not yet. We must first cast light upon a crucial point, and for that we require your help again. What can I do? We need to examine Shieldman's civilian clothing. Very well, but be extremely careful. What do you mean? In that madman's compartment, you will find a strange little coded case which refused point blank to open when he was incarcerated. We did try to force it, but without success. Didn't you ask the experts? Of course we did. Experts from Scotland Yard came to examine it, but they came to the conclusion that it was better that the case remained shut than tamper with it too much. I see. They were afraid that some poison or other might escape if it was opened. Exactly. Bear in mind that this man is an evil genius, a master poisoner, and that his poisons are never ordinary. Here's the key to the locker room. I give you the authorization to open it. Good. Thank you, Mr. Patterson. Miss Patterson, the guards are still waiting for you to put up the duty list. Do it as soon as possible. Without it, the changing of the guard cannot take place. Or had you forgotten? Dry your tears, miss. I'm certain that your father didn't mean to hurt you. Mr. Watson, I can't put up the duty list. And when he finds out, he'll be furious. Why can't you? It's in my locker, in the cloakroom. And I've lost the key. Your aunt. Say no more, Holmes. As you keep repeating, time is against us. Let's go and look at the things in the rat killer's locker.
Here is the locker of our friend, Hans, the mad scientist. Oh, what a jumble! Blotting paper. A paper knife. This solid box must hold a precious object. Let us see. This cannot be a simple coincidence. Perfect. What is written on that note, Holmes? Later, Watson, later. We can give Hans his pen. <laughs> <laughs>